Check this out, folks. Listen, we're getting ready to do a Southern style breakfast enchilada, and guess what? We got that gravy. So come on in here and take a look at this right here. Look, I got a few things out here, and it look like I got a lot of ingredients, but I don't, right? I went ahead and just diced down my red bell pepper. This is a green bell pepper. That's jalapeno, and these are the rest of the ingredients right here. And listen, we're using a flour tortilla. Now, I gotta let you know, listen, I got a website. I want you guys to go down in the description box below, click on my website. You can find this recipe along with others for a full printable, you know, printout. So with that being said, let's get it. Okay, look, as you can see, listen, I'm starting off with a medium flame. You know, we gotta put some heat in the pan. Okay, so look, now I'm gonna go ahead and start my butter, right? Now, as this starts to melt, I'm gonna give my veggies a little bit of a head start before I go ahead and add in, you know, my breakfast sauces. And speaking of my breakfast sauces, I want you guys to pay attention. Look, this is the breakfast sauces right here that's got the casing on it, right? If you guys can't find something like this, like this mild Italian, you wanna use this, all you gotta do is open them up and squeeze out the insides. Very, very simple. Everything is melted, right? So, we gonna add the butter for just a little bit of the flavor, right? Now I'm gonna go ahead and bring in my Italian sausage. Peel this off the back. Drop this in like this. Okay, so notice that I put this down here, right? I'm just gonna give a little pro tip for those uh, that are new to cooking. If I take it like this and I lift this up, you can see that when I kept it whole like that, it forms a little crust, right? I like to see that first before I start to break it up, right? So I got me one of these mashers, you know what I mean? Uh, these are great for you guys that got them non-stick pans. This won't tear up the, you know, the coating inside, but these are hex clad pans. You can use these with metal utensils. They do work out. All right, look, I want to show you this part right here. Now look, I still got a little pink. We cooking, right? Let me look at my flame. I got that medium flame going. I got a little aromatic coming off of there. Now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and add, look, my veggies. Cause we just want to cook these. I still want to keep that integrity. I'm gonna love the color. You guys gonna love it too, right? So we just put this in here. Jalapeno and all. Let me just get it. And then I'm finna come with the onions. Now you guys are used to hearing me say that I like to do my onions first. But this is how we gonna do them today. Now I'm gonna come with my onions. Ooh, I like that onion. If you look right here, look, I got tater tots. I already started getting these to work, you know what I mean? So these can, you know, go ahead and, you know, crisp up and be nice, right? These were frozen. You guys can use those. You can use regular hash browns. I suggest using these. It's like just when you go to build everything, it's just not, it doesn't have that mess. You saw how much I put in there. You know, you guys can tell and make that to your own way. But listen, all of the sausage, the mild Italian sausage has been cooked, right? So look, I want to keep the integrity of my veggies. So if you come in here and take a look at that, only thing that started to go down, because it's the way I dice my onions, they go down just a little bit, right? But it's all good. Now, you just want to get yourself a bowl. And listen, we just going to take out uh, probably about a half of this because now we're getting ready to i'll show you folks okay so look i'm checking my flame because i had turned everything off but i'm checking it you know what i mean i just want to have about yeah uh, let me see if i can get this right we want a medium flame hopefully you guys can see that that's when i say medium that's what i'm looking for right so we got that up there you can hear look the pan's already hot come on in here listen to this yes sir we already back up to a little sizzle right so now we finna add, listen to this, we finna add our, our flour, but we wanna cook some of that flour down, you know? So I'm gonna move this around. This is gonna be our thickening because we finna make, you know, create a gravy. So after about a minute or so, you know what I mean? That heat cooks out that flour taste, right? Now I'm gonna take my milk and what I'm gonna get ready to do is, and this is whole milk by the way, you know what I mean? I'm gonna just start adding this, right? Once we got that in there, don't forget, we, we just put that flour in there and we'll cook and let this all marinate together. You know, we'll get some heat on that milk and just move this around. You guys can see how this is about to turn out. You see how thick that is right there? That's what you wanna have, right? So now I'm just gonna bring all of this down. I'm gonna put it in a bowl and it, it'll cool, right? So we'll just bring it in like this. Now listen, I just took out my, my hash browns or my tater tots, you know what I mean? So now you wanna get yourself a bowl, right? And you just wanna crack your eggs. You guys should be able to crack eggs the way I'm doing it. I don't know about, you know what I mean? I've been cracking eggs so long, we do it one hand. Boom, open them up like that. Then what we want to do is we want to whisk, right? So we have some salt and we have some pepper, right? All right, once we got everything scrambled, now we just want to go ahead and just add it. 
Okay, so my eggs are done. You don't want to cook your eggs all the way down. You know what I mean? Because look, they got to cook inside the oven just a little bit. So I'm going to take these, drop them in there like that. They nice and soft. Oh, my goodness. I would love to have some of these, you know what I'm saying, with some bread anyway. Now, you see that right there? This is what you guys have been waiting to see right now. We got our tots nice and crispy. Listen to this. Yes, sir. So we just add some of these in, you know, and then what we're getting ready to do is give it a mix. So now what I do is I just go ahead and mix it all up. It'll break the egg up, but you guys see where we're going. Look at this right here. This is gonna be your filling, folks. And this right here is what you're gonna end up with, right? Now, 13 by nine, you guys can do it the old fashioned way with the butter, or if you got that non stick spray, you know, I'm, I'm one with the pan. Right, so now after looking at this, now you can start saying like, man, this might really be just that easy. So for me, I just take myself a tablespoon, right? Now we wanna get some of this filling here, right? Now that's up to you how you make them. You know what I mean? You never know which one you're gonna get, so I suggest that you make them all the right way, right? So a couple of tater tots. The first one is always a little tricky. I'm gonna tell you why, right? And that's because when you make it, you're not gonna know how much you know how much to put in there for your filling, you know, so that they will roll, right? Now, I just take this like this, roll it like that. You know what I mean, get it nice and tight. And we want it to be a little bit on the fat side, right? Now check this out, I want you guys to come over here. And then remember, we already sprayed these. Now I put it down with the fold down on the bottom so it won't unravel. Now, we back to this, because we want to put some of that on there, right? So what I'm gonna do is, remember we had it already separated? Instead of me pouring it outside of the, out of the carton, I'm just doing it this way. You wanna get a nice consistency so that it will pour, and you wanna have, you know, you want it to spread all over the top. And listen, you wanna have, you wanna reduce your oven down to 350 degrees. I'm hot and I'm ready. You see this right here? Now I'm gonna take this, and I like my covers that I have, right? So let me do it so you guys can see it. I'm gonna start this way and just pour this way and kind of like do a little smear, right? So again, let's look at my thickness. This is the consistency I have right there. I got some nice breakfast sauces inside of that. Oh my goodness. So we'll just start right here and just start adding it like that. We going in the oven, probably for just about 20, 25 minutes. Okay, folks, so look, you guys can see, I got it out. Drop a little greenery on the top. Don't forget, the green onion tops, they taste good too though, right? So just drop those like that. Now I'm gonna get in here, see if I can get this up in one whole piece. And it's time to do a taste test. Look at that right there. Ooh, you see that? Okay, folks, now it's a moment of truth, right? Listen, you see that right there? I got a, this is a healthy bite full right here. Now, I tell you guys to look down in the, you know, the description box so you can get the ingredient list, but check it out. Now I got the ingredient list, all of that, plus the written instructions, and it's printable. Go by, check it out on my website. With that being said, cheers. Now that there, now that's real nice. Listen, you guys looking for something inexpensive and you probably have all of this inside of your refrigerator anyway, right? You know what, we call it Southern because we got that gravy. Everybody like biscuits and gravy. Why not enchiladas pour it with some, you know, breakfast gravy, you know, with that breakfast sauces and all of that. And then you guys, I want you to tell me this down in the comment section below. What would you do to level up this? Tell me what you would put in there. Hey, and then those of you guys would like to have a little heat, don't forget, you can put some of them seeds inside of here too, but you know I'm a lightweight. Now, with that being said, don't forget, check out my website. I got most of my recipes on there right now. And don't forget, you guys, you guys can now print them or do whatever you want to. Better yet, go to them, take a picture, screenshot, do all of that. Listen, that's smoking and grilling with ab.com. And that being said, listen, if you're new to my channel, let me just take this time to say, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button and tell everybody out there this. Listen, there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And guess what, folks? I'm about to eat. I'm out. Peace.